While Wolverine was attempting to track down Charles Xavier to aid in Dakin's recovery, Dakin was captured and recruited by Miss Sinister and her partner Sebastian Shaw who offered to help him regain his memories. After they tricked Xavier into triggering the psychic trap implanted in Dakin's mind, Miss Sinister attempted to manipulate Dakin by implanting false memories of a shared childhood with her. However, the implanted memories failed to take root, and Dakin thanked her for the beautiful story and then stabbed her with his claws. As he turned his attentions to Xavier, he was stopped by his father, who refused to fight him. Xavier then used Wolverine's memories to show Dakin the truth that Romulus was behind Itsu's death and Dakin became enraged at having been manipulated. Against Xavier's protests, Logan then decided to take Dakin with him to seek out revenge against Romulus. The duo then planned to find what Cyber knew about Romulus. Logan instructed Dakin to betray him to Cyber in order to get close enough to double-cross and capture him, which Dakin did before triple-crossing Logan and leaving with Cyber. However, after learning all of the information Cyber had on Romulus, Dakin provoked him until Cyber's deteriorating health caused him to have a heart attack, and then revealed that he had pickpocketed Cyber's heart medication. Dakin then taunted Cyber by telling him that the world belonged to him and he had no intention of sharing with anyone. He planned to work against Romulus on his own in order to usurp his empire. Dakin then left Cyber to die and disappeared before Logan caught up to them. 